Hello and welcome on a beautiful summer's day. So, I thought I would introduce you to the new project. I've had this for maybe two weeks now and uh, done a fair few bits on it already. Uh, but it's the first opportunity I've really had to give you a little walk round. Um, so, it's a 1969 Beetle. Uh, would have originally been a 1300. It's now got a 1600 twin port. Uh, which I intend to keep. I don't think I'm going to go too mental with this. I want to keep it fairly original. Uh, I've already tarted up the wheels ever so slightly, made them look more presentable. I had to to get the thing rolling out of where it had been stored for 20 odd years. Um, I've put in some wing mirrors. Um, the the beetle. The specialists all wanted like 40 quid a mirror. Uh, I found that those are actually motorcycle mirrors, but they do a fantastic job, and I think they look quite well on the vehicle. So they've gone on. Uh, I've it had one headlight that didn't work, and the other one missing when I first got it, and it had no uh, bonnet furniture, so I've put that back on. I have uh, knocked out a few dents in here and there. This was a huge dent can't really see because of the light but um, I've knocked all that back out uh, got all the lighting working most of the electricals in the vehicle weren't actually working put in the dub life sticker of course that's uh, obligatory um, put this new tailgate on it, the, this wasn't uh, or engine cover whatever you want to call it uh, we're still running a uh, janky fuel tank set up here at the moment because I've got the fuel tank out for I've just repaired it. i uh, done a couple of bits in here as well. It's had a, a new shorter fuel pump because I intend to uh, make it an alternator version fairly soon. I've rebuilt the car because that was leaking. I think it's still leaking from the uh, uh, these points here and here, uh, which is a common fault on the Solex carbs. You can buy like brass bushings to put in there, so I'll be doing that. Get that little bit of a leak stopped um, but it, it runs really well I've needed to do very little to actually make this run quite nicely uh, still needs a final tune up but the engine will be out and all sorts before uh, before it's ready to ready to rip uh, the doors are all gone at the bottom it's fairly standard for that to happen uh, so they're, they're not really attached and they're uh, they're all properly rotten out. Um, I've already bought the repair panels uh, which are there inner and out as one there and there for the opposite side and a new front apron because that is just it's Swiss cheese. There's holes everywhere uh, it's very very far gone well i suppose you, if you really wanted to you could probably save it but i feel that it, it needs replacing out plus i can stick my fingers in holes here and uh, uh yeah that's gonna the, the spare spare wheel well is uh, a little bit on the ropey side so i think we'll be dealing with that um other things i I've basically sorted all of the electricals in the car. I installed a uh, battery cutoff switch here. I, because it's um, already modified, it's got the wizard arches and these uh, interesting aftermarket rear lights. It's not a standard vehicle, and that's part of its heritage. So this is a, a restoration as opposed to a full restoration. Uh, another thing, you can actually see the floor through the... Uh, you can see the Flintstones, if I get my head out of the way maybe, Flintstones floor, so that's got to come out, so I'll be taking the uh, body off to to resolve that. Uh, I've been concentrating on getting all the electricals working before I take it apart, so I know that everything worked before I took the body off. Um, and if, if something doesn't work afterwards, I know it's something I've done after the fact. Let's get this lid off. I think I might need two hands. Yeah, I'll pause while I get this open. There we go. So in here, I have installed a more modern uh, fuse box with uh, blade fuses as opposed to the old ceramic 
fuses. Uh, it's very untidy at the moment, but it, it does all work. Everything's been gone through. Uh, new relays where needed. And uh, there's the, the back of the uh, battery cutoff switch. Um, yeah, as I said, because it's been modified in the past, and it's it, it isn't actually a whoops, isn't a standard vehicle. Uh, I, I'm not overly concerned with um, um, sticking truly to originality. It's going to be a resto mod. I need it to. I want it to be a daily driver, and I want it to be reasonably co comfortable. So there will be a few added extras. Having said that, I will be trying to keep things reasonably period correct. I'm not going to go all out mental and make it look stupid, but I'm not massively worried about uh, being a real stickler for originality. So uh, that's the walk around of the vehicle. I've done bits because I've been interested in getting on and getting it done, uh, but there is, as you can see, plenty more to do. Uh, I think... The way that the thing looks, I love the patina that it's got, I really do, I think it looks awesome. So I'm going to drive it as a patina car for um, just rat for at least the rest of the summer and uh, I'll make a decision as to whether I can bear to destroy the patina that it has and uh, bring it to full kind of show car quality. Um, I'm still undecided on that. So next up I'll show the unveiling of a few bits and bobs that I've got for it. Right, join us back in the garage. Um, got some uh, lovely bits and bobs in the bags, and these are the new seats that will be going in. Those um, crappy bucket seats that are in there are no good. Uh, I managed to pick these up on eBay for £120, which is literally, they're worth that each. Uh, they're Audi TT S line half leathers, uh, manual, um, but they've got the uh, got the flip so that you can get people in the back which is brilliant because obviously the Beatles are two door and they are clean they, they look like they've never been sat in um, so they are going to look beautiful in the car and in my box of tricks I've got all of the wheel cylinders and the brake master cylinder uh, 50 quid for the lot brilliant and I've got a few bits I've uh, got a MP quick shift kit uh, a set of brake hoses to uh, finish off the brake install. Um, gear shift related items to uh, to get the, the gear shift correct, and that is a an indicator stalk uh, because the one in the vehicle I got it working, but the way I got it working was reasonably janky, shall we say? So decided to spend a couple of quid and get a get a new one. Uh, so there's just a few bits that I'll be doing on the thing going forward. So that is the new project. Sitting there looking resplendent. And uh, I've not given up on the uh, golf speed we know project. There's my old golf there. Uh, I've not given up on it, uh, but... I'm just working on other projects right now. So let's give this thing a little fire up before I end the video. Normally fires a little bit quicker than that, but there we go. I've shortened the tailpipes and uh, taken the baffles out of them because I like these things to sound a little bit more rorty. And uh, I'm not going to be running a bumper, uh, so the long tailpipes which are there to, to sort of clear the, uh, the bumper on the vehicle. I just think they look silly, so I've shortened them down. And she will need a final tune-up, but um, yeah. Still a good bit of work to do, but I intend to have her at least running in rat form for the end of this summer, have a little bit of fun. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Right, there you go, there's the um, reveal and uh, I'll be doing a few more videos as I get on and get more stuff done with it. Thanks very much.